guys, Barbara here and today this video is not going to be one of my regular vlogs. I'm just going to make a short video to show you guys the vestibular exercises that I've been doing to build back or strengthen my vestibular system. You know from those of you who watch my vlog, you know that my vestibular system has been on a break ever since I suffered BPPV last year, um, May 6, 2014. I recovered from that uh, through doing Epley maneuvers and so on and then I was just left with the legacy of vertigo when I do certain things in certain positions. I can drive, I can live my life pretty much and I'm okay with a lot of things except that I can't do certain things like lay completely backwards like on this chair or so when I go to the dentist that's a problem when I go get my eyebrows threaded that's a problem and I couldn't like bend my, I don't want to do it right now because I want to get through my, my exercises like look directly up to the seat. You know like when you're drinking a can of soda and you want to uh, top off that last amount? I couldn't do stuff like that. I can't lean my head forward to like brush my hair forward. Just quite a few things that I'm left not being able to do and I want to be um, well. So I went to the therapist and they prescribed some vestibular therapy exercises that I have to do and I've been doing them for about five days now and I want to share it with you guys, okay? So let's start off with the first one. All right, so before I start this one, I want you guys to know that I'm not gonna stay there for the full 30 seconds because you're supposed to hold every move for 30 seconds. I'm not gonna stay for a full realistic 30 seconds, but I'm gonna stay as long as it takes for the vertigo to wear off in case it comes on, okay? So if it takes five seconds to wear off, I'm gonna stay there that long. I'm gonna have Jada keep the camera on. So show, you, show your nurse, Wednesday. Wednesday's my nurse. <laughs> that dog better not come lick my face. She's when not, I out. ready? <laughs> I love you Wednesday, but I don't want your kisses. <laughs> One, two, three. Ready, Jada? Yeah. <laughs> Go away. Come here, Wednesday. Go away. So you're supposed to lay down quickly and then um, put your shoulder over this way and then turn your head at a 45 degree angle, like look up at the ceiling. And this is not bad for me because my right side doesn't bring on any vertigo, okay? So. 30 seconds later, what you want to do is sit up. This is neutral. So now I feel everything trying to settle in my head right now. Kind of like when you're on a boat and a wave just kind of hit you and you try to settle, all right? But I'm not spinning. So after everything settles in my stomach and everything, we're going this way, all right? Ready? Okay, so here comes the vertigo. And then it's subsiding now. So it doesn't last as long as it used to. And then after a real 30 seconds, go back to neutral. And then you wanna do that five times in a row, twice a day, okay? Now that's the amount of time I'm doing it because I'm trying to get well. After I'm well, I don't know how much we're supposed to do it for maintenance, so there'll be a follow-up video to this one, all right? So what you're going through in real time with me while I'm trying to heal, okay? So I'm not one of those people making a video and I don't have vertigo. And you're like, how can she do all of that? You know, that person doesn't have vertigo. I have vertigo. So you're going through it, uh, through it with me at the same time, okay? So let's go to the next exercise. Okay, so for this one, I'm supposed to stand like this on the regular floor and just keep my eyes open with my hands to my side and then do 30 seconds. And then after that, I'm supposed to cross my hands like this and do 30 seconds. I'm just gonna run through that because that has never given me troubles. This is the one that gives me trouble. I'm supposed to stand on a yoga mat or a pillow or a folded towel or a folded blanket or something. And I stand on it like this. <clears throat> and at first I stand this way with my eyes open and hands to the side and I do 30 seconds and then I cross my hands like this and do 30 seconds and now here is the last one that I have to do which gives me problems, okay? See? Close my eyes and then do 30 seconds. And I don't know, I feel like I'm rocking slightly, you know, to the side and backwards. I don't know what the camera's picking up and I guess I, don't, I won't know until I edit this video to compare it to the one that my daughter did two days into this treatment, okay? So do it for a full 30 seconds and then stop. 
And this exercise I do five times, uh, three times a day. I do five of those three times a day. Now let's go to the other one. For the next exercise, all I want to do is take my chin and rest it on my chest right here. Like, you know, trying to create a double chin, which as you guys know is not hard for me. <laughs> so you want to do it like this. And then up. And then down. And then up. With a purpose though, okay? Don't just flail your neck back and forth because you don't want to injure yourself. So you do that like 10 times up and down and you can do that as many times of the day as you want to do it, okay? I do it maybe three or four times when I remember. If you're having really, really bad trouble with the vertigo, if you're in that stage where you're still having trouble with the vertigo, you want to like put a chair in front of you and hold on to the chair so that you don't fall down, okay? And then you want to go to diagonally two with your neck. So it's same thing, same thing. And then to this side, don't forget to go that side. Now, I'm really amazed because when I first started, that one gave me so much trouble, especially the looking up, but now I'm doing so much better. So you guys try, if you can only do it twice a day, at least get it in twice a day, okay? Now here comes the next exercise. I believe this is number four, and this is just gonna involve your eyes, okay? Don't move your neck, just the eyes. So you wanna like look up, look down, look up, look down. And I have to stay focused when I'm doing it. I can't have distractions because then I'll forget where my eyes are going. So up and down first and then you want to do the diagonal on each side. So find something to spot on on that side, something on the side. Some people move their fingers to go along with it. That just gets me dizzy. So I don't do that. Let's do this side. You guys get the idea. So that's number four, and now let me show you the final one. So you want to have a post-it note with the letter E like this on it. You can put any letter you want, but the letter E is just the thing that everybody does when they're doing this exercise. And then let me show you what to do. All right, so for this you want to be at eye level, and then I'm going to move my whole head back and forth like this, just back and forth like that. But every time I come upon the E, I have to focus on the E, okay, from either direction. So let's start. And that's harder than you think, okay? It didn't bring on the vertigo, but it's harder than you think. So there are five exercises that they have me doing. I go back to the doctor in a few days, and then if I'm improving, they'll give me more. So I'm sure we'll have updates to this video, all right? All right, guys, so be sure to check out my disclaimer at the end of the video because you guys know I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I'm not in the medical field, I'm not even a therapist. These are just the exercises they gave me to do, and I've been doing them and I've been doing them for almost a week right now and I go back and see the doctor in a few days and then we'll see if I'm having improvement and if I am, I'm, I'm gonna come back and make a part two to this video. I want to ask you guys to please share it for me with anyone that you know that's suffering from vertigo. I mean, some people are blessed enough that even if they suffer from vertigo, they can take medications for it. I can't take the regular stuff like meclizine, scopolamine, or any of these type of uh, Fenergan or whatever they give you <laughs> for vertigo. I can't take because I was born with a very rare deficiency. I'm lacking an enzyme in my blood and I can't process those medicines and so, I am really at the end of my rope when I get sick and I have to do things naturally and this is why I wanted to share with you guys, okay? Thank you for liking and subscribing and please check out my other two channels, the Product Review channel, Bear Pantry Talk and the cooking show, The Bear Pantry Show, where you will find over a hundred Belizean recipes.